So I'm optimistic we're going to see a package announced this morning, most likely. As you are watching the stimulus drama unfold the past few weeks has been like watching a bunch of five-year-olds fight over whose Tonka trucks are better. I mean, come on. The new relief bill has millions of dollars going to things like counting fish in the Gulf of Mexico and measuring the effects of fallen trees. These things should be done at some point, but not in the middle of a global pandemic where people are dying and about to lose everything. The rest of us are the ones stuck in the middle of this political mess. Even if the government strikes a deal, it is nearly not enough money to stay afloat. If you are like me now, living in your car, making $800 less a month now, with a job you are already barely making ends meet, I would like to tell you, you're not alone. Like many people, I've been stressed the past few weeks to the point where it's affecting my physical health. And sometimes this situation can feel like you're a loser and this is only happening to you. But remember, it's affecting millions of people from all over the world. You're not alone and don't be scared to reach out and ask for help from churches, food banks, city services, and also family and friends that are in the position to be able to help you. Try to keep your head on straight and not cloud it with drugs, alcohol, and unhealthy food. Because this is the time you need to stay strong for when it becomes time to rebuild. Much of what's going on right now is completely out of our control. And try to see it as a very unusual once-in-a-lifetime event. But feeding into certain desires can make things go from bad to a lot worse.